Hey everybody, Chief Meteorologist Brad Padovich here. We're tracking the risk for some big storms developing late this afternoon, but primarily into the evening and tonight. We're talking probably dinner time and after, but a unique setup in the atmosphere with this go around means we do have the potential from some pretty large hail. Typically, we don't see big hail in the Western Carolinas, but this is gonna be a setup for some big hail. So let's break down the surface features first. I'm gonna stop the map here. And a couple things to note, we still have this upper low and surface low back here. This warm front is key. This is gonna be slowly moving north throughout the afternoon, and we've got a cold front coming in. So expect storms to develop in this area first, and even on the ridge tops of the mountains, and then start to push towards the east and southeast. It's a little bit of a west-northwest flow here, as the steering currents are gonna move in this general direction. Let me turn off the satellite data, we'll turn off the radar data, and I'm gonna throw up the uh, severe weather outlook for today. We'll pop it up there real quickly. Um, and you'll see, as we look at the severe weather data, you could see that we've got this potential for um, some strong storms to develop in and, well, I got the next red data. Let me turn that off real quick too as well. We'll turn that off um, so that you don't see that. So you see our medium risk and our low risk, the, the orange area, the medium risk. This is where I expect the large hail to form today. Just to give you an idea, we'll look at the tornado probabilities, which are pretty low, obviously. This is not a a big tornado setup, but it's not a zero tornado setup. We'll look at the wind probabilities. You can see that 15% chance, but let's look at the hail probabilities. Um, you see the 15% chance of hail here, and there's a small area highlighted right here. You see this area I'm focusing on? This is where we could see significant hail. So what we're talking about in here is possibly up to two inches in diameter. That's pretty beefy hail. At the minimum, golf balls are higher, but you can see that does include most of Western North Carolina. Now, I don't expect these to travel too far east with the big hail, but the mountains in particular, this is an area we're going to watch for significant hail um, this afternoon into the evening hour. So you see that area of large hail. Again, I'll highlight the area that we're concerned about. It's going to be in Tennessee, but also here into western North Carolina. So areas right in here in particular. So Boone, um, Asheville, you know, Avery, Ash, Watauga County, Upper Burke, Caldwell Counties. Those are the areas we're going to be watching this afternoon. So let's get into the future cast. So we'll start this at 11 o'clock this morning. Not a lot going on. This is the thing about the setup. There's not going to be a lot of storms during the middle of the day or even the middle of the afternoon. It's really late afternoon at the earliest, but an evening threat. So think of evening, 5, 6, 7 o'clock. So we'll go to 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Typically by 3 o'clock in the afternoon in any normal severe weather setup, we'd have storms starting to flare up. They are, but not over our area yet. It's back here in Western Tennessee uh, and parts of Kentucky. These will start to build east, but we're also likely, watch the guidance. We're gonna see model uh, the model kind of depict some storms trying to form on the Eastern facing ridges of the mountains. So let's go one more hour, see that? Four o'clock, all of a sudden we see some storms kind of initiate. So that four or five o'clock, we'll likely see some storms begin to bubble up somewhere on the Eastern facing slope. So go to five o'clock, you see how they're starting to expand and notice more developing back here. So in the mountains in particular, I'm talking areas, mountains, foothills, four or five o'clock is probably when we're going to start to see some of these storms develop. They will start to expand east. This is six o'clock and really seven, eight o'clock for the Piedmont. And that means the Charlotte area, Greensboro. This is when we start to see the storms. And any anytime we see on the on the future radar, you see these brighter returns like here, and here, that's probably an indication of some large hail. So if I back it up, you can see in particular right here towards the Lake Lohr area, um, Rutherford, Polk County area, uh, Chimney Rock area, that's an area southeast of Asheville that looks like there could be some hail in there. And then maybe one developing here in, in Rowan County around 715. We go towards eight o'clock. Uh, for the Charlotte Metro, I think eight o'clock is probably the time frame. We're probably gonna see things flare up, but you see how scattered they are. They're moving west to east and and then they kind of transition into more heavy rain. This is nine o'clock. We go to 10 o'clock, 11, into the overnight hours. This is after midnight. We go into 1 a.m., you know, Friday morning, 2 a.m. So these will linger into the overnight hours, especially down to the south, depending on how things evolve. And then we go into the early morning hours. These will kind of push out as we get towards sunrise on Friday. So let me back that up one more time just to kind of show you the timing of this. So mountains and foothills, folks there, uh, look four or five o'clock, things flaring up. So early evening, Piedmont, it's mid to late evening. And then anywhere south and east, it's really into the overnight hours. Let me quickly show you something because I'm going to show you the same model here. So this is the, the storm coming out of the, uh, the mountains. 
right there. I want to show you what the soundings look like. And the sounding is just an atmospheric uh, profile of the atmosphere. You can see this is for around Gaston County, marginal severe, but some of the significant hail parameters are around one inch. So a little bit smaller for us, but if, if you get a little closer to this storm right there coming out of Cleveland County, some of the hail parameters are a little bit higher. So that's something we'll watch. Let's go to the latest run here because I think this will be a little bit more accurate. Um, we'll go back this up here. So this is around four o'clock. See the same storms initializing, as we mentioned. We'll go to about five, six o'clock. So let's go just ahead of the storm and kind of sample the atmosphere and the guidance. Um, not a ton of severe. So there, there's still some conflicting data on how much of these big hailers will get east of the mountains, but it's certainly something we're going to have to watch very carefully this evening. So if you have a garage, a carport, and you can put your car inside tonight, tonight would be a good time to do it. Just be prepared that this could be hail. It won't be everywhere. And let me emphasize that too. We're not going to see hail in every location, but there are going to be localized spots of large hail possibly. And right now, if I had to choose, looking at the guidance and the setup today, it looks to be right in here in our area. So just focus on that area with the hail. Now, not just hail, hail's number one, which is rare. We never put hail number one, but it is. Damaging winds would be two because the, the setup for hail and wind are pretty similar. Um, with wind. And then tornado would be third, but it's a very small risk, maybe 1%. Hail and wind will far surpass that. So stay weather aware. We'll have updates throughout the afternoon. And if anything should pop up, you'll see those warnings populate throughout my social media.